In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. An act of reparation to the most holy face of Jesus in this, the most blessed sacrament. The blessing of the holy face. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. The Lord bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, here in the tabernacle and in all your churches throughout the world, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. An act of contrition. O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all, because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to confess my sins, to do penance, to amend my life. Amen. Eternal Father, I humbly offer you an act of reparation to the holy face of Jesus for the sacrileges, outrages, and indifferences by which he is offended, and to offer to you, O Eternal Father, his most holy face for the salvation of our country and to obtain the conversion of many sinners. Amen. Offering of the holy face of our Lord Jesus Christ to God the Father, in order to appease his justice and draw down mercy upon us. Eternal Father, turn away your anger graves from our guilty people, whose face has become unsightly in your eyes. Look instead upon the face of your beloved Son, for this is the face of him in, which, in whom you are well pleased. I now offer you his holy face, covered with shame and disfigured by bloody bruises, in reparation for the crimes of our age, the crimes of communists and the blasphemers, and for the profaners of the holy name and of the holy day, in order to appease your anger justly provoked against us, because your divine Son, our Redeemer, has taken upon his head and all, all the sins of his members, that they might be spared. I now beg you, Eternal Father, to grant us mercy. Amen. I adore the most holy face of Jesus in this holy tabernacle, where he lives hidden for love of us. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament. Adorable face of Jesus, whom all the angels adore, may you be known, loved, and adored by the whole world. Sacred face of Jesus, I desire to love and honor you more and more in reparation for the many sins committed against you. Through the merits of your precious blood and your holy face, I beg your pardon and mercy. I salute you, I adore you, and I love you, O adorable face of my beloved Jesus, as the noble stamp of the divinity. Completely surrendering my soul to you, I most humbly beg you to stamp this seal upon me, so that the image of God may once more be reproduced by its imprint in my soul. Amen. O oh my God, I believe, I adore, I trust, and I love thee. And I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not trust, and do not love thee. O most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly. I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles throughout the world, in reparation for all the sacrileges, outrages, and indifferences by which he is offended by the infinite merits of the sacred heart of Jesus, which are manifested in his holy face, and by the merits of the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg the conversion of poor sinners. God our Father, may you receive this offering through Christ our Lord, amen. The Golden Arrow. May the most holy, most sacred, most adorable, most incomprehensible and ineffable name of God be forever praised, blessed, loved, adored, and glorified in heaven, on earth, and under the earth by all the creatures of God, and by the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Eternal Father, I offer thee the adorable face of thy beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the honor and glory of thy name, for the conversion of sinners and the salvation of the dying. O Jesus, through the merits of your holy face, have pity on us and on the whole world. O Jesus, through the merits of your holy face, have pity on us and on the whole world. O Jesus, through the merits of your holy face, have pity on us and on the whole world. O bleeding face, O face divine, be every adoration thine. O bleeding face, O face divine, be every adoration thine. O bleeding face, O face divine, be every adoration thine. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most holy face of Jesus, covered with blood, sweat, dust, and spittle 
in reparation for the crimes of communists, blasphemers, and for the profaners of your holy name and of the holy day of Sunday. Prayer of Mother Maria Purina. O blessed face of my kind Savior, by the tender love and piercing sorrow of Our Lady as she beheld you in your cruel passion, grant us to share in this intense sorrow and to love so as to fulfill the holy will of God to the utmost of our ability. Amen. An act of consecration. O Lord Jesus, we believe most firmly in you. We love you. You are the eternal Son of God and the Son incarnate of the Blessed Virgin Mary. You are the Lord and absolute ruler of all creation. We acknowledge you, therefore, as the universal sovereign of all creatures. You are the Lord and supreme ruler of all mankind, and we, in acknowledging this your dominion, consecrate ourselves to you now and forever. Loving Jesus, we place our families under the protection of your holy face and of your Virgin Mother Mary, most sorrowful. We promise to be faithful to you for the rest of our lives and to observe with fidelity your holy commandments. We will never deny before men you and your divine rights over us and all mankind. Grant us the grace to never sin again. Nevertheless, should we fail, O divine Savior, have mercy on us and restore us to your grace. Radiate your divine countenance upon us and bless us now and forever. Embrace us at the hour of death in your kingdom for all eternity through the intercession of your blessed mother, of all your saints who behold you in heaven and the just to glorify you on earth. O Jesus, be mindful of us forever and never forsake us. Protect our families. O Mother of Sorrows, by the eternal glory which you enjoy in heaven, through the merits of your bitter anguish and the sacred passion of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, obtain for us the grace that the precious blood shed by Jesus for the redemption of our souls be not shed for us in vain. We love you, O Mary, embrace us and bless us. O Mother, protect us in life and in death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Prayer of St. Teresa of the Child Jesus to the Holy Face. O Jesus, who in thy bitter passion didst become the most abject of men and man of sorrows, I venerate thy sacred face, whereon there once did shine the beauty and the sweetness of the Godhead, but now it has become for me as if it were the face of a leper. Nevertheless, under those disfigured features, I recognize thy infinite love, and I am consumed with the desire to love thee and to make thee loved by all men. The tears which well up abundantly in thy sacred eyes appear to me as so many precious pearls that I love to gather up in order to purchase the souls of poor sinners by means of their infinite value. O Jesus, whose adorable face ravishes my heart, I implore thee to fix deep within me thy divine image and to set me on fire with thy love. That I may be found worthy to come to the contemplation of thy glorious face in heaven. Amen. <clears throat> the Litany of the Holy Face. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God the Father in heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Adorable face of Jesus, masterpiece of the Holy Spirit, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, perfect image of the humanity of Mary, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, everlasting joy in the sight of Mary and Joseph, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, adored by the angels in Bethlehem, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, splendor of the Holy Family, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, vanquisher of demons, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, consoling relief of the sinners, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, gentle relief of the burdened, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, affirmer of brotherly charity, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, shining like the sun on Mount Tabor, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, resplendent joy of the apostles, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, bowed to the ground in the garden of Gethsemane, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, whose glance caused Peter to weep bitterly, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, covered, struck, and taunted in the brutal buffeting, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, covered with spittle from vile mouths, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, whose head was crowned with thorns and struck with a reed, save us. Us. Adorable face of Jesus, 
taunted in the horrible agony, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, praying for your executioners, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, veiled in the pallor of death, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, imprinted on the holy shroud, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, resplendent on Easter morning, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, radiant in the ascension, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, splendor of paradise, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, adoration of the angels, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, everlasting joy of the saints, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, calling the elect to eternal glory, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, veiled in the adorable sacrament of the altar, save us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lord, show us your face, and we shall be saved. Lord, show us your face, and we shall be saved. Lord, show us your face, and we shall be saved. The Chaplet of the Holy Face, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer you the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ and all the other instruments of his holy passion, that you may put division in the camp of your enemies. For as your beloved Son has said, a kingdom divided against itself shall fail. May God arise and let his enemies be scattered, and let those who hate him flee before his face. May the thrice holy name of God overthrow all their plans. May the holy name of the living God split them up by disagreements. May the terrible name of the God of eternity stamp out all their godlessness. Lord, we do not desire the death of the sinner, but that he be converted and live. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. May the most holy, most sacred, most adorable, most incomprehensible and ineffable name of God be forever praised, blessed, loved, adored, and glorified in heaven, on earth, and under the earth by all the creatures of God, and by the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the most holy sacrament of the altar, amen. In honor of the sense of touch of Jesus, my Jesus' mercy, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever, amen. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. In honor of the sense of hearing of Jesus, my Jesus' mercy, glory, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. In honor of the sense of sight of Jesus, my Jesus' mercy, Glory be to the Father, and to the, the Son, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit now and forever and ever. Amen. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. In honor of the sense of smell of Jesus, my Jesus' mercy, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
now and forever and ever. Amen. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. In honor of the sense of taste of Jesus, my Jesus' mercy, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. My Jesus' mercy, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, forever and ever. Amen. In, rem in remembrance of the slops, Jesus' face, the crown of thorns, and the pain that he had in his face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. To honor the seven last words of Jesus, and today, the sorrow of Mary and the piercing of Jesus and the taking down of the cross. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the holy face of Jesus, covered with blood, sweat, dust, and spittle, in reparation for the crimes of communists, blasphemers, and for the profaners of the holy name and of the holy day of Sunday. O God, our protector, look upon us and cast thine eyes upon the face of thy Christ. Prayer to obtain the settlement of all our needs. O eternal Father, since it has pleased our divine Savior to reveal to mankind in our present century the power residing in his holy face, we now avail ourselves of this treasure in our great needs. Since our Savior himself promised that by offering to you, O eternal Father, the holy face of Jesus, disfigured in the passion, we can procure the settlement of the, all the affairs of our household, and that nothing whatsoever will be refused us, we now come before your throne. Offering to you, O eternal Father, this adorable countenance, disfigured with painful bruises and covered with shame and confusion, we beg through the merits of this face to obtain these our most pressing needs. Please show your face to those people in Ukraine and end this war quickly. Here, mention your petitions in silence. Grant us pardon, Eternal Father, for the worst crimes of our age, which are atheism, blasphemy, and desecration of your holy days. Avert from us destruction by war and its consequences, which loom through the malice of revolutionary men who have risen up to stamp out religion from the face of the earth through false indoctrination, and who now stand ready to impose their wicked designs with militaristic force. May this offering of the holy face of our Savior before your throne of majesty obtain for us deliverance from these evils. Send us, O God, zealous and enlightened laborers by conferring many vocations to the priesthood and to the religious, so that by their prayers, their works, and their sacrifices, they may spread the blessing of your church and confound your enemies. Amen. The following saints have been given to us by our Lord to be our patrons in this devotion. 
we ask them to pray for these intentions. Our Lady of La Salette, pray for us. St. Joseph, patron of the Universal Church, pray, pray for, for us. St. Veronica, who wiped the blood, sweat, dust, and spittle from the face of Jesus, pray, pray for, for us. St. Louis, King of France and great defender of the holy name of God, pray, pray for, for us. St. Michael the Archangel, pray, pray for, for us. St. Peter, Prince of the Apostles, pray, pray for us. St. Martin of Tours, pray, pray for, for us. St. Teresa of Avila, pray, pray for us. St. Teresa of the Child Jesus and the Holy Face, pray for us. St. Dismas, pray, pray for, for us. us. O Pius IX's prayer to the Holy Face of Jesus. O my Jesus, cast upon us a look of mercy. Turn thy face towards each one of us, even as thou didst turn to Veronica. Not that we may see it with the eyes of our body, for we do not deserve to do so, but turn it towards our hearts, that being sustained by thee, we may ever draw from that powerful source the vigor necessary to enable us to wage the combats we have to undergo. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Our opening hymn is on page 193. 193.
Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men goodwill. O Lord, you will open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Blessed be the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Christos vos krasis martvek, smert jo smert podolo, itim shavrobak, Jitya Daruva. Christ is risen from the dead. Trampling death by death. And to those in the tombs. Giving love. Christos vos krasisma. Hartwig smert, you smert podolo. Tim sorba, zitya In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from on high and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace throughout the world, for the well-being of God's holy churches, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the most holy universal pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for our most blessed patriarchs of the slum, our most reverend Metropolitan Lawrence, our God-loving Bishop David, the reverend priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our nation under God, for our government, and for all the military, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this city and for every city and country and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the seafarers and the travelers, for the sick and the suffering, for those held captive and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, Remembering our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another <clears throat> and our whole life to Christ our God. For all glory, honor, and worship befit you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. of your strength, your enemies will flatter you through, through the prayers of the Mother of God, O Savior, save us. Let all the earth worship you and sing to you. Let it sing to your name, O Most High, through the, through the prayers, prayers of the Mother of God, of God O, o Savior, 
Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. <clears throat> For you are a good and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior. Son of God, risen from the dead, save, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Let us come before his face with praise and, and acclaim him in songs. Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. For God is the great Blessed is the entrance of all your saints, now always and forever and ever. Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Wisdom, stand aright. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ. Son of God, risen from Save us to sing to you, Alleluia. At the midpoint of the feast, O oh Savior, water my thirsty soul with a stream of true godliness. For you. in the way you lived, and teachers of the Slavic lands, O Cyril and Methodius, divinely wise, intercede with the Master of all, to confirm the Slavic nations in orthodoxy and oneness of mind, to grant peace to the and save our souls. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. At the midpoint of the feast of according to the law, maker of all things and said to those present, O Christ, God, come, 
Тобі славу висилаємо Отцю і Сину і Святому Духові, нині повсяк час і на віки вічні. Let us be attentive. Peace be with all wisdom. Let us be attentive. Proclaim it on in the third tone. Great is our Lord and great is his strength. And of his knowledge there is no end. Great is our Lord and great is his strength. Wisdom. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Let us be attentive. In those days, Paul and Barnabas fled Lystra and Derbe, cities of Lyconia and the surrounding regions, and they were preaching the gospel there. And in Lystra, a certain man without strength in his feet was sitting, a cripple from his mother's womb who had never walked. This man heard Paul speaking. Paul, observing him intently and seeing that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, Stand up straight on your feet. And he leapt up and walked. Now when the people saw what Paul had done, they raised their voices, saying in the Lacaonian language, The gods have come down to us in the likeness of man. And Barnabas they called Zeus and Paul Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. Then the priest of Zeus, whose temple was in front of their city, brought oxen and garland to the gates, 
intending to sacrifice with the multitudes. But when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard this, they tore their clothes and ran in among the multitude, crying out and saying, Men, why are you doing these things? We also are men with the same nature as you and preach to you that you should turn from these useless things to the living God who made the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all things that are in them, who in bygone generations allowed all nations to walk in their own ways. Nevertheless, he did not leave himself without witness in that he did good, gave us the rain from heaven and fruitful seasons, filling our hearts with food and gladness. And with these sayings, they could scarcely restrain the multitudes from sacrificing to them. Peace be to you, reader. Wisdom, let us be attentive. stand aright. Let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, O Lord. Glory be to you. Let us be attentive. At about the middle of the Feast of Pentecost, at about the middle of the Feast of Tabernacles, Jesus went up into the temple and taught, and the Jews marveled, saying, How does this man know letters, having never studied? Jesus answered them and said, my doctrine is not mine, but his who sent me. If anyone will do his will, he shall know concerning the doctrine, whether it is from God or whether I speak on my own authority. He who speaks from himself seeks his own glory, but he who seeks the glory of the one who sent him is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Did not Moses give you the law, yet none of you keeps the law? Why do you seek to kill me? The people answered and said, You have a demon. Who is seeking to kill you? Jesus answered and said to them, I did one work, and you all marvel. Moses therefore gave you circumcision, not that it is from Moses, but from the fathers, and you circumcise a man on the Sabbath. If a man receives circumcision on the Sabbath, so that the law of Moses should not be broken, are you angry with me because I made a man completely well on the Sabbath? Do not judge according to appearance, but judge with righteous judgment. Now some of them from Jerusalem said, Is this not he whom they seek to kill? But look, he speaks boldly, and they say nothing to him. Do the rulers know indeed that this is truly the Christ? However, we know where this man is from, 
But when the Christ comes, no one knows where he is from. Then Jesus cried out as he taught in the temple, saying, You both know me, and you know where I am from. And I have not come of myself, but he who has sent me is true, whom you do not know. But I know him, for I am from him, and he sent me. Therefore they sought to take him, but no one laid a hand on him, because his hour had not yet come. Glory be, be to you, O Lord, glory be to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Christos was kras. The Feast of Tabernacles, or booths, was a week-long feast, eight days, which would take place late in September, beginning of October. So it was the third feast, one of the three um, obligatory feasts in Israel of the Old Testament. And so Jesus went up to Jerusalem. His disciples had gone for the beginning of the feast. He remained, stayed behind, and then came up on his own in the middle of the feast. And he came to the temple in Jerusalem and began to teach. And the people who were listening to him were amazed at his knowledge of the scriptures. His teaching was impressive. And yet he never received any formal education in the Holy Scriptures or in the interpretation of Holy Scripture. In other words, they asked him, where did you get all of this since you didn't get it from school? And Jesus responded to them with three statements. First, he declares that the Father is the source of his teaching. He says, my teaching is not my own but it is from the one who sent me. Second, Jesus sets a condition for knowing that the Father is the source of his teaching. Seeking or thirsting for the will of God is that condition. He says, whoever chooses to do his will, the Father's will, shall know whether my teaching is from God or whether I speak on my own. The more a person does God's will, opens his heart to God's will, thirsts for God's will, the more that person shall perceive the truth revealed by Jesus. And third, Jesus compares one that speaks on his own or teaches his own ideas with one who seeks the glory of God who sent him. The first kind of person acts out of self-interest, seeks his own glory. But the faithful and obedient person is truthful. There is no wrong in him. He seeks only to do the will of God. He seeks God's glory. And Jesus is such a person. He seeks only to do the will of the Father and to give glory to the Father. After questioning the origin of Jesus' teaching, the people began then to question whether Jesus is really the Messiah or not. And according to ancient Jewish writings, the Messiah would appear from nowhere. But everyone knew that Jesus was from Nazareth. And so some thought that this would disqualify him as being the Messiah. They all knew that he was from Nazareth. So in response, Jesus then got up and cried out in the temple area. He said, you know me and also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. John 7, verse 28. You know me 
and also know where I come from. This sentence can be understood as a statement, but it can also be understood as a question. You know me, and you also know where I come from? What Jesus is saying is that you think that you know where I come from, but you don't. The Father, not Nazareth, is the origin of real importance. Jesus comes from the Father, and he has been sent by the Father, and this is what is important. In conclusion, dear brothers and sisters, we know that God is both good and true, and the, both are connected. So doing good, doing the will of God, thirsting for the will of God, is then to know the truth. If we seek the will of God, if we thirst for it, we will find the truth. If we seek not the will of God, but what we want to hear, our own will, we will not find the truth. If we seek to know the truth, then finding the truth would also lead us to do good and to the will of God. To seek for the truth, so the, ver the reverse is true, to seek the truth and to find it is then to be led to the will of God and the desire to do it. Once again, dear brothers and sisters, if we seek the will of God, we will find the truth. If we seek our own will and what we only want to hear, we will not find the truth. On the last day of the feast, Jesus stood up and he cried out, if anyone thirsts, in other words, if anyone thirsts for the will of God, to know the will of God and to do it, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scriptures have said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. And he was referring to the spirit who is the spirit of truth. Anyone who is thirsty for the will of God will find not only the will of God, but the truth in Jesus who gives the gift of the Spirit, the Spirit of truth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us all say with our whole soul and our whole mind, let us say. Lord, have Almighty Lord God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. have mercy on us, O God, in the greatness of your compassion, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We also pray for the most holy universal pontiff Francis Pope of Rome, for our most blessed patriarch Svetoslav, our most metropolitan Lord and our God loving Bishop David, for those who serve, they have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And for all the military. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray, Lord, that you hear our prayer and grant your blessing upon your servants Elizabeth and George Olinik, who celebrate their wedding anniversary today. In your grace and generosity, fulfill all their petitions, forgive all sins, whether voluntary and involuntary. Accept their sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving upon your heavenly altar. Protect them from every visible and invisible enemy. Deliver them from all anxiety, sickness, and affliction. Grant them health and length of days. We pray you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for the servant of God, George Olenek, who celebrated his birthday 
and that the Lord will hear the voice of us sinners and protect his servant George from all tribulation, wrath, danger, necessity, from every illness of soul and body, that he will continue to bless him with health and length of days. We pray you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. O merciful Master, O lover of mankind, look upon your servant Rondan and hear our praise, offering faith. For you yourself said, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you will receive it and ask and you shall receive because of this also we are unworthy of your gifts we trust in your mercy grant your blessing to your servants ronda fulfill her good intention preserve her for the rest of her days in peace and health hasten to hear us and have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy We also pray for the servant of God, Verna, for all her needs and intentions at this time, that the Lord may grant peace, health, all that is necessary for life and salvation. Hear us, O Lord, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We also pray for the people of Ukraine that they may be delivered from this violent invasion, that those who serve in her defense may be strengthened, that her people may be granted peace, freedom, and unity, and that her enemies would be converted and turned away from all war and violence. We pray you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Ще молимось Господу Богу нашому, щоб висок голос моління в нас грішник і охоронив воїнів Богдана, Юрка, Іванка, Микиту, що зберег їх від смертоносної рани і всякої хворості душевної і тілесної, щоб охоронив від усякої журби, лиха, гніву і недолі, та дав їм повернутися здоровими і щасливими. Всемилостивий Господи, вислухай нас і помилуй. Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй. Лікар душі тіл Христе, Спасителю нас, з щирим журливим серцем до Тебе звертаємось, і зі сльозами Тебе благаємо, зійшли хворість за спокій, сіли хворість за спокій душевні тілесні страждання. Раба Твого Дмитра і прости всі гріхи вільні, невільні. Молимо Тебе, Всемилостивий Владико, вислухай нас і помилуй. Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй, Господи. So pray for the people here present who await your great and bountiful mercies for those who have been kind to us and for all our to those Christians. Son and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Again and again, peace, let us face, we'll pray to the Lord. Wisdom, so that always protected by your might, we may give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever.
Ще всяко ми нечете иска предложим да чаем. Щоби за рав си ми приняла ще во слава на вечна сатурн ги чини алелуја алелуја алелуја. Ми ќе да вемем таа неврај чи живе фреаш чи тројци три се тие песни спивај чи всяко ми нечете иска предложим да чаем. Щоби за рав си ми приняла ще во слава на вечна сатурн ги чини алелуја алелуја алелуја. Мехер в ментальной врачи, что творящие троицы, тресоты, песни спевающие, всякую минуту, что ты иска предложил печаль. Christians always now and forever and ever. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our most holy universal pontiff Francis, Pope of Rome, his beatitude, our patriarchs of Islam, our most reverend metropolitan Lawrence, our God-loving Bishop David, all the priestly, diaconal, and religious orders, our nation under God, our government, and all the military, the noble and ever to be remembered founders and benefactors of this holy church. And may the Lord God remember in his kingdom all you Orthodox Christians now always and forever and ever. The noble Joseph took down your most pure body down from the tree. He wrapped it with a clean linen shroud and with aromatic spices placed it in a new tomb. Вчаслав Господи, благодарим Ям Твоим Сион и Твоим Истина Иерусалимски, Ти ви оподобно и Слави Жатва Закони, приноси и Тело Палене, Ти ги положи на вютар Твои Тенцио. Господеви, Господи, помилуй. За принесе нечестни дари, Господеви, помолимся. Господи, помилуй. За святи храмцы, те, что двери побожни, с ее страхом Божьим ходят до нее, Господеви, помолимся. Господи, помилуй. Чтоб весь был дети нам и дети всякой скорби, не вой нужды, Господеви, помолимся. Господи, помилуй. Щедро от миден род носи на Тво, що з ним благословен і єси з пресвятим і благим і животворним Твоїм духом, нині повсек час і на віки вічні. Мир і всі. We may be often mine in confessing. The Trinity, one in being and undivided. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father. Light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. 
For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand with spirit, let it be attentive, the offering peace, the holy oblation. The mercy of peace, the sacrifice of grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is right, it is right and, just and just to, to sing of you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you everywhere in your domain, for you are God ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, always existing and ever the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us from nothingness into being and after you fell. You raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your future kingdom. For all this, we give thanks to you, to your only begotten Son and to your Holy Spirit. For all things which we know and do not know, the benefits bestowed upon us, both manifest and hidden. We thank you also for this liturgy, which you have deigned to accept from our hands. Even though there stand before you thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, the cherubim and the seraphim, sixth wing and many eyed, Hovering aloft on their wings, singing, crying, exclaiming, and saying, the triumphal hymn. With these blessed powers, O Master, who love mankind. We too cry out and say, Holy are you, truly all holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you, truly all holy, and magnificent is your glory. You so loved your world as to give your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. After he had come and fulfilled the whole divine plan for our sake, on the night he was given over, or rather gave himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy, most pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and broken. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sin. After supper, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Remembering, therefore, this salutary commandment. And all that was done for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming, we offer to you, yours of your own, in behalf of all and for And we ask, we thank you, o Lord, and we pray, and we pray 
and we entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here present, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this chalice, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may be for communicants, sobriety of soul, forgiveness of sins, fellowship of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment to the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, not for judgment or condemnation. Further, we offer you this rational and unbloody worship for those who have gone to their rest in faith. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, for every righteous soul that finished this life in faith. Especially for our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, the mother of God and ever Virgin Mary. Virginity is alien to mothers and childbearing is foreign to virgins. Yet in you, O Mother of God, both of them came together. Therefore, we and all the nations of the earth, without ceasing Among the first, remember, O Lord, our most holy universal pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, our most blessed patriarchs of Islam, our most reverend metropolitan Lawrence, our God-loving Bishop David, for the sake of your holy churches, grant that they may live in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, and rightly impart the word of your truth. And remember, O men, and all we and grant that with one voice and with one heart we may glorify and sing the praises of your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your, your spirit. Святих поминувших щастя, мир и Господи, ви помолимся. Господи, помилуй. Завтра на сене освящени честни дари, Господи, ви помолимся. Господи, помилуй. Щоб чоловік у любви з Богом наш прийняв всіх у святий небесний духовний свій жертовник, як приємний запад духовний зі славна божественна благодать і дар святого духа помолимся. Господи, помилуй. Визволитися нам від всякої скорби, гніву і нужди, Господеві, помолімся. Заступи, спаси, помилуй, охорони нас, Боже, Твоєю благодаттю. Дня всього досконалого, святого, мирно і безрічного, Господа, проси. Ангела миру, вірно наставника, охоронця душі тіл наших, Господа, проси. Прошення і відпущення гріхів і прорішень наших, Господа, проси. Добро і пожиточну для душ наших і миру для світу, Господа, проси. Останний час життя нашого в мирі покаянні скінчити у Господа проси. Християнської кончини життя нашого безболісної, бездоганної, мирної і добродовіту на страшному суді Христовому проси. Єдність вірі причастя Святого Духа випросивши самі себе і один одно і все життя наше. Христу Богові віддаємо. And make us worthy, O Master, with confidence and without condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, Father and Savior. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Give your hearts to the Lord. To you, o Lord. We give you thanks, O invisible King. For by your infinite power you created all things, and in your great mercy brought all things from nothingness into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who have bowed their heads to you. For they have not bowed them down to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth the ways that lie before us all for our good, in accord with each one's personal need. Sail with the seafarers, travel with travelers, heal the sick, O physician of our souls and our bodies. Through the grace, mercies, and loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your most holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. God be merciful to me, a sinner. God be merciful to me, a sinner. God be merciful to me, a sinner. Let us be attentive. The holy gifts for the holy. What is Broken and distributed is the Lamb of God. Broken, but not divided. Eaten, but not consumed. Sanctifying those who partake. The fullness of the Holy Spirit. The warmth of faith, full of the Holy Spirit. I believe, O Lord, and confess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. Accept me this day, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not tell the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I confess to you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be unto me not for judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. I have sinned without number. Forgive me, O Lord. Approach with the fear of God and with faith Christ is risen. Christ is, is risen, risen from the dead. Troubling death by death and to those in the tombs giving
Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. Christ is risen. Christ is risen and from the dead, traveling death by death. And to those in the tombs, blessed, blessed be our God, always, now, and forever. and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. You bless those who bless you, O Lord, and you sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house and glorify them by your divine power. Do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our nation under God, to our government, and to all your people. For all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanks, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Christ is risen from the dead, trembling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving love. May the blessing of the Lord be upon you with his grace and his love for mankind now always and forever and ever. Christ our God, our whole glory be to you. Christ is risen from the dead, trembling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, give the blessing. Christ our true God, risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. Through the prayers of his Immaculate Mother, of our Father among the Saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of Saint Joseph at the Holy Hierarch and Priest Martyr, whose church this is, and of all the saints, will have mercy on us and save us, for he is good, and he loves mankind. Wow.
Elizabeth and uh, George Olinik celebrate their wedding anniversary today, and George uh, actually celebrated his birthday just this past Monday on May 9th. So our best wishes to both Elizabeth and George. May the Lord continue to bless you with peace, health, and happiness for many, many happy years to come. No hayalita. No hayalita, lita, no hayalita. No hayalita, lita, no hayalita. Vos dravije, vos pasenije, Just a reminder that tomorrow morning we will still celebrate two divine liturgies, one at 7.30, uh, Pro-Life Intentions, and also at 9 a.m. There is a um, Pro-Life Mass at St. Joseph's Basilica at 10 a.m., and then also the Pro-Life Rally at the Alberta Legislature at 12 noon. A very blessed day to everyone. Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. Christos vos kres iz martvych, smerť u smerť podolok, i tym šok robok, žiťa do rubok. Christ is risen and from the dead, And to us he has granted life eternal. We bow down before his resurrection on the third. Our closing hymn is on page 196. 196.